Want to have your clip featured in the Skyrim Clip of the Week? Simply record the clip on your Xbox and then send it to me via message. My gamertag is iryeni, that's I-R-Y-E-N-I, and then you can message it to me over Xbox and I'll be able to view it. I look forward to seeing the clips that you guys send me. Now moving on to the video. Hey, what's up guys? It's Ryan and welcome back to another episode of Modded Monday. We're on week number 200, guys. 200 weeks of Modded Mondays and I can't believe that we're finally here. This series is so fun to make and I can't wait to continue with it, but I thought we'd celebrate episode 200 by combining all of the mods that I've covered in all of the 200 episodes, choosing my favorite five and then making a list out of that. So this is technically going to be my top five mods of all time. But our celebration for 200 episodes doesn't stop there. Not only are we going to do this list of my top 5 favorite mods, I also have a bigger video planned for later in the week. I don't want to spoil it too much for you guys yet, but just know that I've been working on it for a while and I'm very proud of it, and I just think that you guys are really going to love it. Now before we actually jump into my favorite mods of all time, I'd like to remind you guys that I'm partnered with Gamersups, which in my opinion is the best energy drink on the market, so if you're looking for a better alternative to those gas station energy drinks that are really bad for you, try out Gamersups and use my link down below. You can also use the code RTD for a 10% discount on all your drinks, and I'd also love to hear some feedback from you guys as well, so if you do end up trying it, definitely let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Now that all that's out of the way, we can jump into my favorite mods, and starting us off we have the Placeable Statics mod, of course. This is a huge mod that allows you to customize your house in any way that you seem fit, and the mod page reads, have you ever felt like you should be able to redecorate your house in any way that you want? Shouldn't you be able to move chairs, beds, and then be able to use them where you put them? Now you can grab, move, store, buy, place, rotate, and nudge nearly any furniture in Static. It's perfect to organize your Hearthfire home and Dawnguard castles, and it allows you to grab and place furniture using two simple intuitive spells. You can grab and move furniture and statics as if they were clutter, and then fix them in place and they act just like they did before you move them. For example, as you can see here, I'm going to be changing underneath my staircase in Bree's home, and moving a lot of these storage containers, such as the barrels, into the alchemy area, so that I have more storage for my alchemy ingredients. I'm also going to bring the table from the alchemy area out underneath the staircase so that I have a nice decorative piece that's out by my dinner table. This is just a small example and just scratching the surface of the things that you can do with this mod. You can move pretty much anything around in your house and even bring more furniture from other places into your house and maybe even remove furniture as well. Now this mod doesn't just work on the inside of houses, it also works on the outside too and it also compensates if you have a house mod, you can actually use it inside of custom houses as well that you download from the mod page. So no matter what type of house you have or castle you own, the placeable statics is definitely going to give you the powers that you need to move furniture furniture around and actually give you more of a customizable option to redecorate your house and that's what I really like about it and that's why it's featured here at our number 5 spot so I'd strongly recommend downloading the placeable statics mod. Coming in at our number 4 spot we have one of my favorite speech mods of all time and that's the immersive speechcraft mod. Now this mod itself transforms Skyrim into an RPG game, hands down in just one mod. This is because it allows you to talk to any NPC in the game, whether they have dialogue for you or not. And what I mean by that is, you know those NPCs that'll go, need something, or good morning, if you just try to talk to them and they don't really say anything else more than that? Well, now they do way more, and you can actually have conversations with them with any of those NPCs that originally couldn't talk to you. And not only can you talk to the NPCs that couldn't talk to you, you now have more options for the NPCs that already have dialogue for you as well. The Immersive Speechcraft mod really adds some value to the speech skill as well, and provides the player the ability to interact with NPCs in interesting ways. Based on your character's speech skill, you might be able to convince an NPC to follow you, initiate trade with you, you can then command them, give them gifts, beg for money from them, trick them, fight them, comment on the weather, and if you have a weapon out, you can actually mug them as well. And again, this is with every single NPC that exists in Skyrim. You can now have a full conversation with and have your own scenarios on different types of friends you can make and conversations you can have. So there's so much fun to be had with the immersive speechcraft mod and it actually makes the speech skill feel important in the game instead of just an unimportant skill that you forget about. And that's definitely why the immersive speechcraft mod comes in at our number 4 spot so I'd recommend downloading it and giving it a try for yourself. 
Coming in at our number 3 spot, we have hands down the best music mod for Skyrim of all time, and that's the Chapter 2 Jeremy Soul inspired music. This music mod adds over an hour of exploration music to Skyrim using Jeremy Soul's composing techniques, and it's also updated so that new tracks are added frequently. The mod author states that being a composer themselves, they wanted to try to make similar music to Jeremy Soule's work on the Elder Scrolls. So they studied and analyzed all of Oblivion's and Skyrim soundtracks, and started to notice subtle patterns and trends in his songs. Using these composing techniques, they started to make and later publish their own Elder Scrolls-esque music on their YouTube channel, and they're now at the point where they have over an hour of fan-made Elder Scrolls music that they now decided to put into a high-quality music mod. And this is definitely one of my favorite music mods, because the music doesn't seem out of place at all. It actually feels like it was made for Skyrim specifically. But enough of me just talking about the music, now it's time to actually listen to some of these amazing new tracks. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I get chills down my spine whenever I hear some of these songs whenever I'm exploring Skyrim. It just really immerses me in the game and also lets me have that nostalgic trip from the Jeremy Soul techniques that he has in his music. And it's just perfectly crafted together and it's just a perfect blend of music so it fits into Skyrim perfectly and doesn't seem out of place. And that's definitely why the Chapter Told Jeremy Soul inspired music comes in at our number three spot, so I'd strongly recommend downloading it. Coming in at our number 2 spot, you guys probably saw this coming, but it's our favorite follower mod called Inigo. Inigo is an award-winning custom voiced companion with over 7,000 lines of dialogue. He can be found in the Rift in Jail in the first cell on your left, and he levels with you indefinitely. He's also essential and he has his own framework that doesn't affect your follower count. He's skilled in one-handed in archery and performs equally well in light or heavy armor. He can talk to various NPCs and will develop differently for each player based on the choices you make on your time together, which is one of my favorite things about this Inigo mod here. Not only is he a very awesome personality and just a person to hang out with, but he's also a follower that helps you out and learns about you, and then later makes comments about the different types of decisions you make whenever you're playing through the game. He can also help you make decisions, as well as talk to other NPCs that are involved in that quest line. So he'll say lines to Delphine when you're doing the main quest line, he'll say things to the Greybeards as well. Like he actually feels like a follower that was meant to be in Skyrim as well. And I know you guys love him as much as I do, because every time I make a new load order video, you guys are always like, where's Inigo, where's Inigo? It sucks that it's 320 megabytes to include the Inigo in a load order, but he is definitely a perfect addition to any load order that you may have, if you do have the space for it. So if you have enough space on your list and you're looking for a new follower that in my opinion is one of the best followers in the game, download Inigo and give it a try if you haven't already, because he's a really awesome character and you just won't want to delete him off your list once you download him. Coming in at our number one spot, we have my favorite quest mod of all time, and that's the Forgotten City. This has been my favorite mod in Skyrim for a long time, and I don't think anything's going to pass it anytime soon, and the Forgotten City is an award-winning, critically acclaimed expansion mod offering a 6-8 to eight hour experience, which is a murder mystery investigation set in an underground city. You'll have to solve it using your wits and the ability to travel through time, and it has a dark, non-linear story in which you'll interrogate suspects, explore the city and its many secrets, and navigate challenging moral dilemmas. It features multiple endings, an original orchestral score, and a professionally voiced dialogue team. And how to actually start the quest is if you're level 5 or above, you'll be approached by a courier when you enter any city that will start the quest there. Or if you want to start it early, you can travel to the Forgotten Ruins in the southwest corner of Skyrim. Just remember to go alone. 
The Forgotten City is a quest mod that does something that a lot of quest mods fail to do, and it makes you have a sense of importance. You know, whenever I'm playing other modded quest lines, there's not really a sense of importance in terms of getting something done or, you know, making a decision. But in The Forgotten City, that's completely changed because every single decision that you make has a huge impact and it actually matters in the story and whether you escape The Forgotten City or not. And like I said, this is also a very long quest as well, offering a six to eight hour experience, so it does feel like its own game. And speaking of its own game, you guys would have never guessed the email that I got the other day. I was actually messaged by one of the creators of The Forgotten City, who saw my video back in 2016 and offered me a key to the game for whenever it comes out this summer. The Forgotten City is going to be its own standalone game. I'm super excited for this and I can't wait to cover it. I would definitely play it on this channel if you guys wanted it to be played here. It's just such an amazing mod and to hear that it's going to be its own standalone game makes me even more excited to hear the future of it. But if you've never heard of The Forgotten City and you want to actually give it a try or see it played through, I actually have a series on my channel where I played through the entire mod. I'll leave that linked in the description, but forgive me, it was made back in 2016 where I was a lot younger and not as experienced with the YouTube thing yet. And if you do want to try it out for yourself, it's also linked in the description so that you can download it and try it for yourself. And I would recommend anyone to go ahead and do that because this is an amazing mod. I know I've said that a million times, but this is really my favorite mod of all time because of how much it accomplishes and how it sucks you into their story. So I definitely recommend downloading the Forgotten City quest mod and giving this masterpiece a try for yourself. So that's pretty much it for this week's episode of the Top 5 Skyrim Mods of the Week. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, and if you did, I'd appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe if you're new. It really helps me out a lot. And if you have any suggestions for mods you'd like me to cover in future Top 5 Mod episodes, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Or you can follow me on Twitter. I'll be sure to leave my Twitter in the description, and you guys can follow me on there and leave me suggestions there as well. Special shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much for everything that you guys have done for me. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, and I will talk to you guys later.